whoa, okay. Why do I fully just wear the same outfit just on rotation? Uh, to be fair, right, I was gonna say why do I wear the same outfit on rotation in my YouTube videos, but that's just because that's what I do in my life. I don't change my outfit for a YouTube video. I put makeup on for a YouTube video, I maybe brush my hair for a YouTube video, I do not change my outfit because that is too much effort. Usually I'm wearing a dressing gown. I'm thinking about maybe getting some more dressing gowns for some videos, what do we think of that? I think a nice pink one. Mm. Anyway. How are we all? It's been a while since I've done some Killing Eve and honestly, I've been having withdrawals so it's very necessary that we get on this. I want to basically, because I keep going between, I, I, mm, I want to watch some films basically. So what I would love is if people now watching this, head down to the comments, tell me what films I should watch. And if I haven't seen them, I will give them a go. Let me know if there are any you think would be fun to watch a rewatch of, because I have seen quite, <laughs> quite a few movies, humble brag. So it's difficult because a lot of the time the movies that are suggested are movies that I've already seen. But if you're like, you know, I would love a rewatch of High School Musical, then I will do a rewatch of High School Musical. Because I feel like we need to revisit that at some point. <laughs> Anyway, Killing Eve. This is what we're, we're here to talk about today. I know that it's the fifth episode of the second season that we're delving into, and I'm pretty sure I've heard, or maybe I'm making it up, but I'm pretty sure I have heard that the fifth episode of each season is always kind of a whew one. So, oh my Lord, I'm looking forward to it because the last episode I watched, I think was possibly my favorite. Or maybe that was tied with episode five of season one. Yeah, I think, yeah, definitely. So, we're in for a treat, I think. Let's just, let's just jump into it. Let's do this thing. I look a bit like a thumb. Why did she do that? Oh my God, is this a kill? What the fuck? Is this for fun? I'm assuming no. I would pay her to do that to me. A pair of extra to wear that while she does it. Have you seen Mad Men? It's a masterpiece. <laughs> she kills people for a living. You think she works in accounts? How do they know it's definitely her, though? Do they know that for a fact? Did you know that babies literally steal the calcium from your teeth? Little bastards eating me alive. I've said it before, I'll say it again. Birth, human birth, one of the most unnatural things in the entire world. Oh, so do you know of others? Yeah. We have a book club. Oh, so it, she's confessed. Wait, how did they get this confirmed? Did I miss something quite important? You ever met a woman named Villanelle? That's a yes. They say, she's a Talia cuisine. The egg ghost. What? The egg ghost? Like Humpty Dumpty kind of stuff? That's oh! How wonderful to see <laughs> This gorgeous girl. Oh, no, 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 come on. <laughs> to be fair, these are fascinating beings. We need to play by her rules. Let's put a hit out on me! She'll like that. Everything we do here has to be officially documented. Those are the rules. Uh oh. Someone doesn't want a paper trail on you. What are you saying? I have no idea what she's saying. Your new job. Is this a joke? Yay! Oh, she's mad. You chose that, fo that photo? I'd look awful. Also, Eve, why does it matter? Let's be real. You know why it matters. We both know why it matters. Cut to the chase. You were pretty happy to shoot me. When are you going to get over that? You need to kill her. That's kind of crazy that she was willing to shoot Constantine, but not her. You won't even remember her name next week. This attachment Villa has to Eve is really something quite interesting, don't you think? And vice versa. Other people are just objects to them. To be picked up and put down at will. Well then Villanelle's in a psychopath. An inability to form lasting intimate relationships, a poverty of emotion. Like she just isn't that, she just isn't. She just isn't. Everything that makes us human, just take it all away. It's a very bold statement. So you might as well try to understand a, a wasp or state plural. I think it's a very fascinating subject, psychopaths. I really know n not much about it other than the like true crime stuff that I watch. <laughs> Can I do anything else? Oh! It's softer. <laughs> She's a puppy. She's a puppy. She's not a psychopath. Do we all agree? The light just turned off. 
Right, so I'm not sure entirely what's just happened, but we've lost power in some of the places in this room. However, my ring light is still on and I've turned a lamp on over there. It's darker now. We'll have to deal. Alright, I've connected to my phone for 4G. This is really weird. Anyway, carry on. I've got to go to Oxford tomorrow. Another teacher got sick and they need a chaperone for some spelling bee. How dull. Oh my god, his life is so dull compared to hers. I don't have to stay overnight. I can come back if you want me. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, go. Did she set that up somehow? No, a teacher got sick, but she wants him to leave, right? So that Villanelle can assassinate her. Your trousers are rather tight these days. <laughs> right, Carolyn. Terrible presentation. It's designed to lull subjects into a sense of slightly soporific superiority. <sighs> it's all a big test. Carolyn, what are you up to? Your professional recommendation is... She's too close. This is a no-go. Oh dear. I think it should be a yes-go, though. <gasps> is it from Villanelle? What is it? Is it a strap-on? A really long strap-on? Oh. She's so excited by the thought that her presence could be uh, gracing her at any moment. Hey, you want to go upstairs? She's all turned on because she's thinking about Villanelle, but honestly, just skip the middleman at this point, Eve. Last-minute spelling bee in Oxford. How did you manage that? See, I knew it was them. You ready to take your top off? Yeah, <laughs> this guy, the nerve. You have to be safe. Well, I'll only be safe as long as she trusts me. This is true. What are you gonna do with her? She better do something with her. I know she doesn't, but... She? Kenny. She murdered Bill. <gasps> He's getting emotional, poor Kenny. How can you even think about this? He cares about Eve, that's so cute. So, are we okay? Not with this. No, never. Well, I mean, you kind of don't have a choice, Kenny, because either you work in protecting her. Oh, dear. Are you sucking me? I'm sure your mum will find something else for you. Oh, my lord! That's a bit much, Eve. I think everyone's acting a bit dramatic. To be fair, Kenny has a reason to, but he also doesn't have a choice in the matter. He just has to protect her. Why are you sus, Eve? What's going on? Who is this guy? Mate, what are you doing? Are you about to push him? She's not going to. I don't know why she would... What? Sorry. Right, what was that little moment about? Was that because he pushed past her? And so she was like, right, this guy deserves to die. Are we supposed to be thinking, oh, Eve has psychopathic tendencies? Is that what we're supposed to be thinking? Because I don't. She's one of the most emotional characters I've ever known. <laughs> Gonna need to put on something a bit baggier than that because quite literally, you can see it. Oh! Don't do anything stupid, okay? That was so calm. Really? Yeah. This is so calm, they haven't spoken in so long. Do you want to search me too? Did she bring champagne? What is that headpiece about? You've been so distracted lately, I thought you'd forgotten about me. Of course not, Villanelle. <laughs> we don't have champagne glasses. No, this is perfect. I mean, I would still go for, like, water glass over mug, wouldn't you? Are you scared? No. <laughs> you could have killed me. I know. I think about that all the time. Right, Eve, you don't want to be getting emotional now. That shows vulnerability. Actually, maybe that's exactly what you should be doing. It shows vulnerability. Now I want to take it back. Whoa, what is she doing? What's that time? Right. What's happening here, then? Are you going to apologize to me? No. Are you? No. Right. Okay, good. There we are, then. <laughs> Glad we got that settled. Why don't you drink your champagne? Why? Have you poisoned it? No. You know I'm here to kill you? Yes. It was my idea. Ha pow! I needed to see you. So you hired me to kill you? Yes. That is so stupid. It's not the best move, but... What if I shot you? You wouldn't. I wouldn't. Yeah, the last time someone said you wouldn't, the other one got stabbed, so... What is that? You get rid of the taste. What? What is she... What? I'm sorry, what are you doing right now? Oh! No, she's getting her to kill herself. What is happening? What is happening? Right, these two women are very fiery. They make me very concerned. I didn't think you would actually do it. That is arsenic. Don't just sit there, do something, get it out! Well, what the hell did you think it was, Eve? Why did you take them? Quickly, Eve! <laughs> <laughs> 
What a little prankster. Do you think I'm insane? I do, personally. <laughs> oh. I'm expensive. I know. Bloody hell. The chemistry is palpable. Eve, you left your door open. Why does she look after her like a mother? Or a spouse? Don't don't leave your keys, honey. You guys going on a little picnic? Where are you going? Field trip? What's what's happening here? And there's the two. They're both so I mate. Villanelle and Eve are both in the dark. <laughs> What exactly are they doing with her? Is this the MI6? I don't like that one bit. You need any water? No. What is it with female assassins being super sexy? It'll be easier if you just tell me, or it's going to get worse for you. Oh, they're going to torture her? Oh, because she's sick out of Villanelle. Jesus Christ, why am I stupid? Would you like to watch? I kind of want to watch, you know, not for psychopathic, well, no, I'm just intrigued. Well, she's not going to kill her. I guess torture is just as bad as killing though, isn't it? And she was the one that set it up, so yeah, there's going to be some guilt there. Who was it? It was his son. Classic. Oh! When it's not the company, he's selling it's a weapon. A weapon? It's always a weapon. It, yeah, it is always a weapon. I got you what you wanted, I think you would be nice. Or a kiss. Cheeky finger or two. What? Did you do? Nothing you didn't ask me to. This is fair, Eve. You can't get mad at her for doing literally what she asked. <laughs> She's not getting mad at Villanelle. She's getting mad at herself. She has resentment for herself at this point. But Villanelle's gonna take it personally. Don't get too close. What are you doing? Monster. I love that Villanelle has the ability to make assassins break. Oh, there she is. Oh, he's around the corner. Oh my god, of course he has no idea what she looks like. I'm sorry about the complaints. Ah, <gasps> is she confessing? I was just trying to get Eve's attention, but she does not care about your life at all. Oh my god. Look at you. Huh? He's like, oh my god, my competition. You look like someone stuck a mustache on some fudge. Ha, <laughs> she's not wrong. Look at that outfit, I'm sorry. You should try this with don't you dare talk about my wife or I will kill you. You won't be able to. Like, if, if, if one of you are dying, it ain't gonna be her. We're friends. Well, more than friends, what, actually. What are you talking about? Mm -hmm. She's like a knife in me. Stop it. Look. It's healed quite nicely, considering. God, it's so nice to finally meet you. See you later. <laughs> what? May the best man win. I'm obsessed with that. <gasps> I'm sorry, I'm literally obsessed with that. May the best man win. And they're both trying to win Eve. I mean, Nico isn't trying to win Eve. He's just married to her, which maybe causes the problems. When you're married to someone, you don't need to try anymore. You know, you've already got them. Whereas Villanelle's turning on the charm. <laughs> is she turning on the charm or does she just have to charm? No, she is, because I think that Naturally, she's very, while she is like very charismatic, it's not a charming charisma, it's more of a soft, playful charisma. And I feel like at the moment she's turning on like the sexy, alluring kind of charm for Eve, you know? So I think she is turning something on, but I also think that if it were Nico and Villanelle in competition, just them, I really think that Nico wouldn't have a shot. I mean, considering Eve said that she's not into women like that, maybe he would have a shot, but also it's Jodie Coma. Come on now. Every single day I think about the fact that Jodie Comer is a straight woman and it just doesn't sit right with me. I don't buy it. I mean, I get she's a good actor, fine, whatever. All right, well, thank you again so much for watching. As I get further into this series, I do get more confused. I feel like the first season was quite not simple, but certainly more simple because, you know, you just had the initial shock of Eve and Villanelle's relationship. But since that shock has now died down, as in, like, not that it's gotten any less crazy between those two, but for the audience, 
they have to add other stuff. And I know that there was, you know, in the first season there was questions about Carolyn's involvement and, you know, her relationship with Constantine and stuff like that, but it's definitely being, I don't know, played around with more in this season, I think. So yeah, no, I'm, I'm interested. I'm interested to see how it plays out, but I honestly, all I know is that the MI6 and Constantine, at least, I'm not sure if it's the 12, are working together. But then, uh, I don't know. I don't know, I don't want to start guessing because I feel like I'm just going to make a fall out of myself. I could literally just sit there and watch Eve and Villanelle interact all day though. I'm so glad that we got more of that in this episode. And I hope that now they are colleagues, as Villanelle put it, we'll get more of it. Because I just love them together! I want them to have babies and get married and stuff and stuff. Like, it's not going to happen though, is it? I mean, the final season has been announced, as in like it's been announced that season four is in fact the final season. Will we be blessed? with a happy ending. I don't think we will! Oh, Let me know what you think. Let me know how you think this will turn out. I mean, obviously, you probably have more knowledge on, like, what goes on in the rest of the show. So do not give me any spoilers, but let me know if you think they will end up together or not, because I would be interested to know. That's all I have to say. Catch you on the flip side. Smell you later. No, bad accent. Sorry, Bella.